Hello everyone, this is Fatline, and today I'm going to be doing a PvZ build. This time, and this time, we're going to be going over a very specific build for this matchup where it really works, I think, only on this map and any map where there's a very small choke point where you can pretty much wall this off with the pylon and then two sets of or two buildings. And it's going to be the double immortal. Warp Prism Gateway Island where you just reinforce with a lot of zealots with plus one attack. And this is pretty much in response to the trend that, you know, Protoss goes for Gateway Expands, Zerg, they go for Hatch first. Uh, and if they go Hatch first, they can't get inside your base because you're going to have that walled off on time. So they have to use an Overlord Discount and whatnot. If they want to see what's going on, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit because nothing really goes on in my base at all. You're just going to be constantly chrono boosting probes, you're going to get that 9 pylon, 13 gateway, and a 14 assimilator. Constantly make probes, make a 16 pylon, 16 pylon, there we go. Get three guys in your gas immediately and make an 18 cybernetics core. There we go. Uh, meanwhile, back over here, he's actually going to pull then hatch, so he's actually going to be able to get inside my base, but nonetheless, I am making a zealot. This is just in response. If they go for a six pull or anything, you have a zealot on the way, but he's not really doing that, so cancelled it. Get your nexus at 21. Then get your mothership. And then you get your pylon at 23 supply. Be making that probe still. Then you make a robo at 25. You can see he's able to get inside my base. So he went pull first. He's gonna see it. Oh well. 26 forge. Still gonna be making probes. Chrono boosting them. And we're gonna finish off this wall off with another gateway. But anyways, you're not going to start warp gate yet. You're actually going to be keeping that just a little bit delayed. And it's fine. It works fine with this build. You just need this to finish before 9 minutes. You start, your first 100 gas is going to be invested into the plus 1 attack. Then you're going to be making a warp prism whenever you can while you're still making probes. And then you get uh, warp gate. You're going to be able to make one more pylon, and then after this pylon, you don't really make any pylons from here on. You're going to be investing all your minerals into the immortal and extra gateways. So from here, you're just going to constantly chrono boost out the immortal. What I like to do is I like to move around with the warp prism on the map. Now, if you're wondering why do you go warp prism first instead of the immortals, because you can actually fit this in. Uh, you can't really afford the immortal at the time. You don't have a hundred gas because you're staying on one gas at this moment. So we're gonna be adding on our extra gateways while we can. Just scouting around, making it look like, hey, you know what? I have a warp prism. What you're gonna do about it? Just sometimes might force some some units from them. Now I accidentally was staying here too long, so I'm actually not able to get here on time. I'm actually supposed to be here before this second immortal comes out, so I could pick him up and go. Ideally, you should be able to get to his base with the mothership core and your warp prism before nine minutes and warp in. But I'm going to be a little bit late on that, and it's okay. So work is about to finish up. And I have a total of 10 gates. 
This originally came from 8 gates, but I found I can actually afford 8 gates, I mean 10 gates with this because of the d travel distance. You can see my minerals are pretty much piling up. You want to make sure you're not going to get supply blocked. Reinforce your wall if you need to, just in case if he does try to go for like a run by or anything like that. So here we go, the warp mode, warp in zealots in front of your mortals. You have a full energy mothership core. Use that time warp to help you out. And look at this. Pretty much easy from here. And we can't do anything about this. Just too many units from him. And his virtually has a lot of queens. Now if you're Zerg and you're wondering how do I thin this off, you actually, if you scout this, you want to go for very fast meters. And that's pretty much the way I lost to it. The only way I lost to it. Was just super super fast meters. Uh, I talked to some of my GM friends. They said that Ling Bane can win, uh, work against this, but you can't get layer. You need that gas to make more planes. So But yeah, this is pretty much the build. It's pretty easy from here. You can use the uh, warp prism to micro your mortals. You can see he's losing quite a bit here. And you can just use the time warp to help your Zelda to get closer to the roaches. And yeah, so there is the game. So this is the build. It's pretty much only for uh, maps where you can wall off pretty quickly in your natural because you don't really want them to be able to get inside your main. All that kind of jazz. But I guess if. It's a little bit wide. I guess you could put your robo right there in front of them and be like, hey, I have a robo. <laughs> I guess. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This was requested by someone in the uh, Flatline group, which you can join on the NA server. Just Flatline is the group. You search for my name. And uh, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments below and all that kind of jazz. You can follow me on Twitter as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.